This is Scotch broom. It makes the most gorgeous, I don't know if you can tell, they look, they look like orchids almost. They're so pretty. And then, um, these, these seeded themselves and I didn't move them when I should have. Now this is one that's almost, you see, I mean, I'm looking up. It's probably, I'm five, I'm five two. It's a good eight feet up in the, up in the air. And they're just beautiful. And they come out, they start out like a little tiny bush like this. And the next thing you know, in the next year, it's two, three or four times. And my hostas are coming up nicely. Very nice. This is Virginia Creeper. And it will make me itch like crazy. Uh, I got violets. They've already bloomed and have died down. This was a garden that sort of got, I took things out of it. I can't remember what you call that thing, but it's pretty. I've got more hostas over there. This is a shade garden because it doesn't get a whole lot of sun. And uh, there's some more of the scotch broom. And I guess, I don't know what that is. It's a little white flower. It's either a rat, it's either blackberries or it's uh, something else. And I have a ton of, I think you call that, isn't that vinca? Over here, I got a ton of vinca. And that's my Easter still up. And then there's more ivy there. I mean, um, violets. And then over here, I have, uh, I got a, well, they're violets and I real, they're not inside where they're supposed to be, but oh well. And there's my little hedgehogs. And mums from last year, they're coming up. I'm gonna make a border along here of bottles. So I've been putting, throwing bottles out. And there's more of violets. I have a lot of work to do. I have as much outside as I do inside.